The new NVIDIA RTX 4090 graphics cards will be available to buy from October 12th, and reviews should go live a day before that on October 11th. That is only a few days away from now. So, I want to do a final RTX 4090 leak, talking about its real performance. None of that 2 to 4 times faster crap NVIDIA fed us during the presentation. We have information about rasterization as well as ray tracing performance from a large sample of popular games, provided by anonymous reviewers that do have the card in hand right now. Additionally, I will touch on the availability of this product on day one. But first, an ad from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Let's quickly recap RTX 4090 specs. It features 16,384 CUDA cores, 24 GB of G6X memory, and 450 Watt TGP. Nvidia recommends you to have at least 850 Watt power supply. Yeah, this thing needs a lot of power. Also, beware that RTX 4090s from board partners are a lot bigger than any graphics cards we have seen before, so make sure to check how much space you have available in your PC case before buying. It is a real problem for MIDI tower cases, but bigger full towers should be okay. The core clock on the Founders Edition RTX 4090 is set to 2.23 GHz base and 2.52 GHz boost. However, it seems that 4090 can boost much higher if you let it use more power. There are screenshots circulating online showing an RTX 4090 boosting to 3.1 GHz while using close to 500 watts. I suspect that we will see such settings in higher tier models such as Asus Strix and MSI Supreme X, which could improve gaming performance by another 5-10% compared to the Founders Edition cards. Nvidia has set the RTX 4090 MSRP to $1,599, but I expect the models with better cooling and higher core clock speeds to cost $1,700 to $2,000 and more. The day one availability on October 12th should be very good. In fact, much better than any graphics cards launch in the recent years. That is according to the North American sources, which say that Nvidia has shipped four to five times more 4090s compared to RTX 3090 back in 2020. Although other parts of the world could have a very different experience, but at least in the United States, some stores are expecting that some 4090s may not even go out of stock by the end of day one. Of course, more shipments are already on the way to replenish the stocks in the coming days and weeks. The great GPU shortages are truly over, at least for the time being. Now let's talk about the gaming performance. The following leaks come from reviewers who have RTX 4090 in hand. In general, RTX 4090 is about 80% better than RTX 3090 in rasterization, but sometimes even better in some games. If you were looking forward to using ray tracing, then you will be happy to hear that 4090 is often over double the ray tracing performance of a 3090, so now we should get playable FPS in games even without using DLSS. Also, I have the leaked 3D Mark scores to share with you, which feature RTX 4090 as well as a 16 GB version of RTX 4080. I was most interested in Port Royal Benchmark because it has ray tracing enabled. 4090 scored close to 25,000 points, while 4080 is sitting at 17,600, which is a lot higher than RTX 3090 at 13,600 points. 
1490 scored close to 19,000 points in times by Extreme versus 3090 at 10,300. That is an 84% improvement, which is in line with what the sources are saying about the average gaming performance of the 4090. Note that RTX 4080 is sitting at 14,000 points. It is 36% better than RTX 3090, so we can expect the RTX 4080 average gaming performance to be somewhere in the area of 30% better versus RTX 3090. There is a huge performance gap between RTX 4090 and 4080, which leaves a lot of room for RTX 4080 Ti possibly based on a heavily cut-down version of AD102 GPU, which is used in RTX 4090. FYI, AD102 GPU maxes out at 18,432 CUDA cores. RTX 4090 uses 16,384 out of those. So, there will be another high-end graphics card. It could be an RTX 4090 Ti or Titan with 10-20% to better performance. However, don't expect Nvidia to launch such a product soon. It could launch next year if AMD forces Nvidia's hand by releasing a graphics card that clearly beats RTX 4090. I guess we will see soon enough, as AMD will be revealing its next generation of Radeon graphics cards on November 3rd. What do you think about the RTX 4090 so far? Planning to get one? Let me know. If this video was helpful, then you know what to do. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.